Hi again. Today I'm going to share a few ways to fix Wi-Fi issues you might be having after upgrading your Mac to macOS Monterey. Maybe after you've updated your computer, your Wi-Fi keeps dropping out, or you're now having connection issues. Don't worry, I've got a few tips that can help you to fix that. My groundbreaking first tip is to restart your Mac. It might seem like a no-brainer, but this is one of those steps that is so easy most people forget to do it. For good measure, you could also restart your Wi-Fi router by disconnecting it from power. The next tip is to run macOS native wireless diagnostics test. Hold down Option and click on the Wi-Fi icon in the toolbar. Click Open Wireless Diagnostics. Then, click Continue. When the diagnostic tests are complete, you can follow the prompts to try and resolve whatever issues it finds. If you're connected to your Wi-Fi network, but you can't get any websites to load, then you'll want to try and flush your DNS cache. This can help resolve internet connectivity issues. One of the easiest ways to do this is by using CleanMyMacX's maintenance feature. It allows you to run regular maintenance on your Mac, like freeing up RAM, flushing your DNS cache, or re-indexing Spotlight. CleanMyMacX is extremely user-friendly and easy to use. Moreover, it's notarized by Apple. Use the link in the description below to download it for free. When you have it installed on your Mac, open CleanMyMacX. In the sidebar, click Maintenance. Select Flush DNS Cache and click Run. Maybe your Wi-Fi won't turn on in Monterey at all. If that's the case, there might be something going on with PRAM. It stands for Parameter Random Access Memory. Typically, settings that are stored in PRAM are for your internal speaker, monitor, or even your Wi-Fi card. All you have to do to reset your PRAM is turn off your Mac. Turn on your Mac and hold down Command Option PR. Keep holding down those keys until you hear the chime or startup sound twice. Then you can release the keys. macOS Monterey, among other things, features a new, more secure Safari. There's even an option that hides your IP address from trackers. But turning it on appears to slow down Wi-Fi, as reported on many Mac forums. Even if you regularly use Chrome, you may try to open Safari and disable its Hide Your IP Address feature. This setting seems to affect all other browsers as well. If you want to turn it off, here's how. Open Safari, Preferences. Here, navigate to Privacy. Uncheck the box next to Hide IP Address from Trackers. Software updates are released to help make your operating system more reliable and safer. While developers do their best to anticipate every issue their software has, it's just not possible. Usually, the newer an operating system is, the more often an update is released for it. Here's how you can check for installation software updates. Open System Preferences. Click Software Update. If an update is available, click Update Now to install it. Another tip to fix your Wi-Fi issues includes deleting the Wi-Fi preference files. To do that, all you need to do is create a backup folder and name it Wi-Fi Preferences. Now click on Finder and choose Go, Go to Folder in the upper menu bar. Paste this location. Now look for these files and drag them to the new folder you have created. The list of all the files you need is in the description box. Then restart your Mac. My last tip is to forget any old and unwanted Wi-Fi network names. The quickest way to do this is with CleanMyMacX again. Open the app and follow these instructions. In the sidebar, click Privacy. Hit the Scan button. Select Wi-Fi Networks. Here you can select the networks you want to forget and click Remove. Reconnect your Wi-Fi to verify that all is working again. There's a very short list of things that are more annoying than Wi-Fi on your Mac not working. And hopefully one of the tips on this video has helped you. That's all for today. Don't forget to check out the description box for links, shortcuts, and additional details. Remember to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.